Hi Coronado, I'm Tina Friend, Coronado's City Manager, and this is the weekly update for the week ending June 3rd, 2022. With the launch of Coronado's refreshed website comes a new electronic notification system. If you had previously signed up to receive notifications of items such as the City Manager's weekly update, news articles, event reminders, or public meeting agendas and minutes, your subscriptions will not carry over to the new site. If you would like to continue to receive notifications, please sign up by visiting the city's website, hit the green subscribe button on the home page, and enter your email address. Once your email is confirmed, select the notifications you want to receive by clicking the subscribe button next to each of them. Since it takes a while for search engines to catch up with content on a new website, when searching for information, you may encounter broken links. The best way to find what you're looking for is to go to the new website and use the site search feature. The majority of concrete and asphalt work has been completed on the project to improve access and pedestrian mobility along Ocean Boulevard. Minor improvements remain and will be completed in the coming days. Those items include stormwater pump station work near Pine Street and additional removal and cleanup of cracked sections of the pre-existing retaining wall along the back of the sidewalk. Restriping of the road is currently scheduled for June 21st. Temporary lane markers and signs will be in place until then and all roadways and sidewalks are reopened. There may be more roadway closures, but they will be minor, and thank you so much for your patience. Voters can vote early now at any of 39 vote centers around San Diego County, including one at the Coronado Community Center. On Saturday, June 4th, another 179 county registrar locations will open for a total of 218 vote centers open daily from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. All will be open again on Election Day, June 7th, when voting hours change to 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Vote centers replace polling places and provide more services. You can visit any of the county's vote centers to drop off your ballot or to vote in person. And planning for the city's largest holiday celebration, the 4th of July, is underway. The major events for Monday, July 4th include the popular parade down Orange Avenue, Navy parachute demonstration, concerts, and fireworks. There are other events spread across three days, such as the 12K, 5K run and a rough water swim, both on July 2nd, and the first of three weekend concerts on Sunday, July 3rd. After a reduced schedule of events last year, this year's festivities will be back to pre-pandemic levels. This will mean big crowds in town. Various city departments are preparing with logistical support to the organizers, including street closures, parking enforcement, crowd monitoring, posting no parking signs, opening up city facilities, and cleanup. The city will soon have a list of frequently asked questions, such as when will the fireworks start, where's a parachute demonstration, and what time do the medians open on the commentcoronado.org website. A major series of jazz concerts, including Grammy, San Diego Music Festival, and international award winners, kicks off at the library on Friday, June 3rd. Sponsored by the Hotel Del Coronado and the Friends of the Library, concerts will be held every other Friday in the Wind Room through August 26th. First up is the Rob Thorson Quartet, who will perform at 1 p.m. in the Wind Room. Find out more about the concert series on the library's website. Summer skate park hours will start June 11th. BMX bike riders have joined skateboarders in using the skate park. However, since bicyclists and skateboarders are not allowed in the park at the same time, there will be skateboards and scooters only, as well as BMX only hours through August 14th. Check out the weekly update for the full summer schedule. And Tinkerbell is this week's pet of the week. Hi, my name is Erin and I'm a volunteer here at the Coronado Animal Care Facility with Paws of Coronado. This week, our pet of the week is Tinkerbell, an eight-year-old domestic short-haired cat. Tinkerbell is a sweet and affectionate girl who came to us when her family relinquished her after they got a new dog. While Tinkerbell does prefer to be the only pet in the household, with her human friends, she is gentle and does well with children. She is looking for a calm home with a family that is looking for love and cuddles. As with all of our animals, Tinkerbell is spayed and microchipped. She's up to date on her vaccinations and she's had a flea preventative applied. She's available for an adoption fee of $50. Please be aware that the Coronado Animal Care Facility is open by appointment only. If you're interested in adopting Tinkerbell or any of our animals, you can visit us online at pawsofcoronado.org to fill out an application and our adoption coordinator will get back to you regarding the next steps. To find out more about Tinkerbell, call Paws of Coronado, which runs the city's animal care facility, at 619-522-7371.
And for more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the City Manager's Weekly Update online.